Once again, you are led to the throne room under guard. This time, a man stands there with a presumptuous grin. The man tells you to hand over the scepter. You tell him that you don't know what he's talking about. The man's mouth transforms into a twisted grin, and he signals his guards. They inch closer, swords at the ready. What will you do? You fall into a fighting stance. As soon as you steal yourself for battle, the Prime Minister and the Princess burst in. The Prime Minister orders the guards near you to stand down. The man twirls his cape and leaves, as if nothing happened. You sigh, relieved that you didn't have to shed blood in the castle to resolve the problem. The Prime Minister tells you that man was Count Dean, the younger brother of the King. He is trying to usurp the throne. The scepter indicates the throne's heir. The Prime Minister says Dean had Tomit steal it to deny the princess the throne. The Prime Minister takes the scepter and narrows his eyes in satisfaction. He pays you for completing the request. The fairy you saved in the ruins appears before you. She seems to want to take you somewhere. The fairy leads you into an old ivy-covered tower. You find yourself in a cluttered room that seems to be a laboratory. Judging by the stratification of dust, much time has passed since anyone last entered this room. Letters amidst the shambles indicate that a magician named Lucane lives here. You find a message he penned on the desk. Lucane wrote that he was off to see a magician friend named Wallace in the underground labyrinth. The fairy uses various interpretive gestures to indicate that she wants you to find him. You accept her job request. You head to Wallace's underground labyrinth to look for the magician Lucane. 